T. Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for Silver Education, Acquisition, and Entertainment. Hey, you guys are in for a treat today. I just came back from another interview with Rich from the Gold Depot, and I had lots of questions. He had lots of really honest answers, and I think you're going to like this one. And, uh, before we get to the video, uh, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below, especially if you'd like to see more videos like this. And if you appreciate the effort, hit that like button down below. And speaking of effort, let me ask you a question. How many guys start off a video with a drone video like this? Okay, Rich, hey, uh, thanks for uh, having me back and giving me the opportunity to uh, ask you a few more questions. And uh, I just have to ask, uh, normally my videos get like maybe 100, 120 views. Uh, the video with you got 6,000 views. And wow. uh, has, <laughs> has anybody uh, mentioned that they've seen you on YouTube or anything uh, like that? Yeah, a few people, a okay. few people, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, you know, who knows? You may become a celebrity or something like that. But uh, nah, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's start with a uh, fun question uh, to get warmed up here. Uh, what's the craziest thing you've seen come in the door here? The craziest thing. Um, I mean, we we've seen a lot of cool things and different things. I have to say, my favorite is a. Uh, a a previous General Motors owner uh, brought in a Fisher body uh, stagecoach that was purchased in 1973, made out of sterling silver, and it was solid. It was like 200 ounces of silver. I saw that on one of your posts, and I was amazed. <laughs> and uh, yeah. matter of fact, for the viewers' sake, I'll throw up some pictures. Uh, on the video so they can see. Yeah, uh, you have probably, to see it to believe it. Yeah, it was one of the most beautiful pieces I've ever seen as far as uh, made out of silver. Where is that piece now? Do you send that to auction? And no, does that go in your personal uh, collection? Another or? dealer that uh, that we wholesale to happened to come into the store and it was sitting on the counter and he fell in love with it and he and offered me it. the right price and there you go. He owns it now. How long was it in your possession? Uh, less than 24 hours. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. That is wild. Yeah, it was awesome. It was cool. <laughs> On to a question about uh, the old stimmy that everybody's talking about. <laughs> has Has anybody come in here? Uh, I know people are probably yeah. flocking to the mall right now, uh, but has anybody uh, come in this way? You'd be surprised. Yeah, a lot of people put their stimulus checks towards buying gold and silver. That's Yeah, quite a few. That's that's wisdom on their part, I mm -hmm. think, and I, I think our viewers will uh, agree. Um, speaking of the people coming in the door, uh, what ages are the silver stackers that you see coming in? I mean, we have we have more and more people coming in that are in their their twenties, mm -hmm. um, but I would say on average, you know, forties, forties and fifties. Yeah. Uh, and YouTube allows me as a content creator to see the uh, demographics of my viewers. And I would say most of my viewers are in the 40 to 55 year old uh, demographic. Yeah. Uh, but I, recently, I, like last, I'd say three months, I've seen more people in their 20s pop up and the stats are yeah. changing a little bit. Yeah. So you're, that's. Yeah, I mean, you know, the the younger generation, they're highly, you know, they're, they're more educated and whatnot and they're, you know, researching a lot and and you know a lot of them are big on the cryptocurrency stuff and you know and they're they're buying gold and silver which is good it's good to see that younger generation buying it yeah today is tuesday march 23rd and spot price took a nosedive today uh hey does that concern you at all no i'm not concerned at all like i said i mean i strongly believe that once we break that 30 dollar spot price mm -hmm. that's when we're going to see the upward trend of uh you know silver really rising 
Uh, you're going to see some a lot of days where you know silver's going to jump, uh, you know, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, and it, it's going to fall two, three dollars in mm -hmm. a day. I mean, we're going to see stuff like that. So um, don't get scared. It's you know, it's going to happen. Uh, last week we dropped. Beginning of the week, by Friday we came back up. You know, over twenty six again. So. Now, uh, I've got to ask you, uh, I, I hear people online talking about spot price manipulation. I'll be honest with you, I don't understand it 100%. Uh, I've got a basic idea, but I was wondering if you could explain your knowledge of price manipulation. Is it real? And who's it, doing it? It is real. I mean, you, you have big banks that are manipulating the prices so that they can keep buying and keep hoarding, you know. Um, you know, for instance, I mean, I want to say it wasn't long ago that, you know, well, Reddit, you know, Reddit was, was trying to short squeeze silver, mm -hmm. you know, from the big banks and whatnot. Right. I mean, unfortunately, I mean, Reddit's not big enough to do that on their own. Yeah. But, uh, you know, if they got a lot of these hedgers behind them, it would be a whole different game. But, I mean, silver and gold's been manipulated for years and years and years. I mean, if, if the actual true value would come out... I mean, it would crush the banks. I mean, I mean, it it would just. So they wouldn't have enough physical uh, bullion to Correct. cover. You started explaining that to me uh, last time. Matter of fact, I even cut that part out of the video uh, because I didn't quite understand it. And maybe if you could explain that to the uh, viewers a little bit. Well, you're talking about futures contracts. Yeah, is that related? Yeah, so, so future contracts. Yeah, well, like. It, it is going to be related, and, and and I think we're going to see that come the end of this month, okay. the end of March, um, which could be the reason why silver's taking a dip this week, um, because next week uh, it could be on an upward trend, because so a lot of people that buy contracts, you know, and with the premium so high, uh, so like silver contracts, for instance, that are coming due this month. Mm -hmm. A lot of people want their silver. Like if I had a futures contract coming due, I would want the physical silver. I wouldn't want, you know, if I played it long and my I bought my contract at twenty dollars and now it's at twenty five dollars an ounce. Mm -hmm. I don't want that five dollars an ounce. I want my physical silver because it's selling for thirty dollars an ounce or thirty one or thirty two or so on and so on. Mm -hmm. So. If they don't have, if the banks don't have the physical silver to cover those contracts, it's going to drive up the price. Okay, gotcha. Again, uh, relating to uh, spot price, uh, the stacking community seems concerned and upset, and some some of them are downright uh, mad and have kind of slowed or even stopped their stacking. Uh, but there seems to be this uh, huge disconnect between spot price and physical bullion price, and uh, you know. Uh, the, uh, the the quote unquote premium is so high, and it's, it doesn't seem like the two numbers are create or are related between spot price and the the price to, for me to purchase an American Silver Eagle. So spot price is is basically if I went online and bought silver shares, mm -hmm. that's spot price. Yeah. If I bought paper, silver, gold, that's spot price. Mm -hmm. uh, physical, it's gonna physical. Not only do you have the spot price. Then you got premium on top of that, mm -hmm. and then, uh, you know, basically, you're always going to pay more for physical, no matter no matter what. Mm -hmm. it, it's just that way. I mean, if you want silver at spot, you got to go online and buy the shares. You got to buy the paper. Right. Um, but physical, there's always going to be premiums, and you know, from from the mint to the dealer, you know. It, it costs money to make it. It's 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 that way. And it has the collector value as well. And yep. you know the price of uh, you know isn't identical uh, from what I understand because um, people are willing to pay a certain amount for it and supply and demand. There's yeah, it's only it's, so much it's of supply and demand. Supply. Um, you know, I, I didn't really see uh, a lot of the comments and whatnot on, on your post, but uh, the, you know, silver, you know, some, a lot of people, they didn't really back off from buying silver. They just switched from buying silver eagles to buying 90% silver uh -huh. or buying generics okay. or, 
you know, or, or you know, they, they stopped buying generics and now they're buying premium stuff that they kind of like. Mm-hmm. I mean, your stackers don't quit. They, yeah. you know, there's always something, you know, it's, it's like, it's an addiction. I mean, we're always going to be buying, you know. Funny you should mention it because some of the content creators that I've seen uh, are talking about slowing down or stopping, but then a week later they've got more stuff to show <laughs> off, which is natural. I, I agree with you yeah. uh, 100% that it's in us. We've got to have it, and we uh, we understand the importance, and we want to fill our safes with it, and, uh, you know, that desire doesn't stop. No, nope. no. Nope. <laughs> Okay, I've got a question uh, for you, and this is kind of a loaded question. And <laughs> uh, and I, for in my channel, um, and you answer however you want. But I just kind of in my channel, I try to be apolitical because people come to the channel just for escapism. And uh, but you know, when it comes to politics and silver stacking, there's overlap, and you can't get around <laughs> that. So, uh, what do you think the current administration will do? for stacking, whether it's their policies, whether it's the Fed, whether, you know, uh, what do you think the next three and a half years? Yeah, that is a loaded question. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't like getting into politics either, but I think the current administration is uh, definitely, definitely is going to have some challenges. Um, and what I believe that's going to do the silver and, and, and gold prices is, is make them rise. Mm-hmm. Um, along with everything else that's that's going on in the country. Yeah, inflation. Um, you know, well, not even just in this country. I mean, all over the world. I mean, just everything that's happening, it, it's, it's going to continue to rise. Uh, let me just uh, totally s- switch gears from uh, politics and, uh, um, and uh, the political landscape to a uh, stacking landscape. Uh, I see a lot of guys online on Facebook and on YouTube uh, Collecting the Batman, the Peanuts, the Shipwreck, the Superhero, the Bart Simpson, the Queen's Beast, uh, the uh, collectible stuff. Uh, do you see like a real high demand for that? Uh, uh, I do. I do. You know, your younger generation, you know, your, your, your teenagers, your 20s, your 30s. I mean, even, even your 40s. I mean, you know, people, people like the limited stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and like I said, you know, yeah, they don't want to pay... Thirty-six dollars for a Silver Eagle, or they don't want to pay thirty dollars for a generic, but they might buy a Batman for a hundred, right? Because it, they only made nineteen hundred sixty-six of them, you right. know. Mm-hmm. So it, it's you know people are switching to what they like or what don't like, and or what makes sense for them. Okay. Um, obviously, I'm a big collector of that stuff. Uh, I got three little kids, so yeah. you know they. All the time we're buying that stuff. And uh, you have that case there behind me that I'll, I'll show off in the video a little bit with your personal stuff. Uh, the Michael Jordan stuff, uh, the Bears stuff, that uh, you know that appeals to me as well, I'll tell you that. Uh, what's your bread and butter in the shop? What consistently sells and is your... Is your... Uh, gold and silver consistently sells. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a huge silver dollar guy. So I noticed you've got a lot. Your mortgage, your peace dollars, your trade dollars, you know, and and so on and so on. But uh, basically, that's that's my forte is is silver dollars. Mm-hmm. I notice you have a, a few uh, Carson Cities over there that I kind of drool on the glass looking at. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, those are beautiful. Uh, a few of our viewers uh, from uh, the previous vi- video uh, said, man, I wish I had an LCS like the Gold Depot in my town. And one guy even uh, you know, told me he lives out in the desert and does 100% of his shopping online. Uh, do you have people that buy online? Do you have an online presence? We do. We, uh, we're, we're real big on eBay. Um, so we, we do a lot numismatic on eBay. Uh-huh. We don't do gold and silver. Okay. Your margins are very, very low on, on gold and silver. So uh, with with the fees, we just don't do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do do a lot of um, selling on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we have a huge client base all over the country okay. um, for gold and silver on, on, on Facebook. Okay. I'll be sure to throw up uh, your Facebook page on here so folks could see it. Yeah. And Yeah, we ship all over the country, so... You touched on it just a minute ago about uh, the 
the margins there. Oh, people are curious, what's the spread uh, between uh, what you buy for and what you sell for? So say, I see uh, in your case there a 10 ounce uh, uh, Engelhard bar. What is, what's that going for now? Uh, so 10 ounce Engelhard, you're pretty much going to be like three, like 330. 330? Um, Matter of fact, would you mind pulling that out? I'll show it and in we front would, of the camera here. We would basically buy it at 310. Okay. Um, so not a whole lot. So there's that. So buy it at 310, buy it at, or sell it at 330. So you're not talking like a 50% margin or a 40% no, margin. basically two bucks an ounce. Um, and, you know, one ounce, uh, like eagles and stuff like that, you know, what you buy them for, you know, from at the mint and whatnot like that. I mean, you're you're not making a whole, a whole bunch. Okay. I mean, we just, we, you make it on the volume, versus the piece. That makes sense. Uh, anything this time as we uh, get ready to sign off? If you don't want the real crazy premiums, stay away from your fractional silver. Okay. Your fractional silver is like, the premiums are, crazy right now. Yeah. So like one grams, one tenth ounce, uh, quarter ounce, half ounce on silver, mm -hmm. you're better off buying 90%. I because have a, like yeah. you're talking $40 an ounce on up on that fractional stuff. It's nuts. I've stayed away from the fractional Libertads. Uh, one of my <laughs> viewers uh, sent me one as a gift and I, I really appreciated it. So I started looking into them and I'm like, oh my gosh, these that you're, you know, for... Yeah, the fractional, the fractional uh, Libertads, uh, you're, you're talking a lot. That's an extreme there, Yeah, you know. And, and depending on the year, they can get very, very pricey. That's right, because those mintages are ridiculously mm -hmm. low. All right, Rich, well, hey, it's closing time for you. Uh, yep. I appreciate the time, and uh, I'm sure my uh, viewers will appreciate it as well. Uh, like I said, uh, your last video was very popular. We'll, we'll <laughs> see uh, what happens with this one. Uh, and thanks a lot. Appreciate it. No problem. All right, Thank buddy. you. I can't uh, leave the shop without showing my viewers some eye candy here. Uh, so uh, let's take a quick look at this little assortment you've got here. I see you've got a uh, Carson City dollar there. Yeah, so you got a Carson City Morgan. you got some uh, gold. you got a 20 gram uh, Vicambi breakaway. Mm -hmm. Lots of fractional there. Um, you got a five dollar gold, uh, gold Indian. Got the old Incus. One tenth Incus. ounce, quarter mm -hmm. ounce. Hey, tell me about this uh, Redfield. I've heard about this. This is actually a really cool story. So there was a guy uh, went around to all the banks, basically hoarded all these silver dollars. Ended up passing away, and uh, there was a f false wall in the guy's basement, and uh, the survey guy uh, kind of figured out that the basement wasn't big enough for what it was supposed to be and they found the fake wall and guy had thousands of silver dollars in there. So, right. very interesting story. If you guys want to research, just look up the Redfield Hoard. Mm -hmm. um, very cool. Yeah, my understanding was that uh, he would uh, go around town and he would not show off his wealth at all. No, no, he, uh, would never know it. Uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, looks can be deceiving. And uh, we were talking a little bit about these five ounces uh, right here. Uh, five seems yep. like the new ten these days. Yep, so five ounces are a sweet spot. Um, you know, not everybody has $300 laying around, but, you know, they might have 150 or 160 or whatever they're going for. Mm -hmm. uh, these are some vintage Canadian, uh, Royal Canadian Mint, Monex, Factory Seal. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's a oh, little yeah. beauty for you, five <laughs> ounce lid. Yes, I see it. And uh, I understand that one's not so, for sale. Nice MS 70s. We got 70s, we got 69s. What are they going for, the uh, 69s? Uh, 69s, we are at uh, 55 each, and the 70s, we're gonna be at 100. Okay. Uh, you got 2020 emergency releases, MS-70s. Uh -huh. A lot of beautiful stuff. 2021 here. Eagles. What are the Eagles going for today? Uh, 2021s are still running about 38. Okay. 
Got nice. the fractional, the combi bars. We got one tenth ounce, or yeah, no, ten grams, and then one grammers. Some Franklin halves. Uh, there's your limited stuff. Oh yeah. So like these are from the 1966 TV show. Mm -hmm. Adam West. Um, All right. Well, hey, Inglehard. Let me see that. Vintage Inglehard, factory sealed. Platinum. Well, what does that go? I have no idea. I don't know anything uh, about well, platinum. This is going to have more of a collector's value, being that it's Inglehard and factory sealed. Uh, so this one would run pretty close to like two hundred and fifty dollars over, maybe okay. three hundred over. Okay. Spot. Um, I think that I think that's about what I paid, maybe two fifty over. But mm -hmm. I'm a vintage collector. I like vintage. Mm -hmm. We well, got a lot of cool stuff laid out there. And uh, hey, once again, I appreciate the time, my man. Sounds good. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Very good. Thanks. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, how'd you like that video? I hope you enjoyed it. I'll tell you what, I had a good time making it. Every time I walk into Rich's shop, uh, I learn something new from him. I see lots of cool stuff and it's always a great time. Now speaking of seeing lots of cool stuff, you know I couldn't have just walked in there and seen all that gorgeous silver and gold laid out on the countertop and not made a purchase and walked away with something. So let me show you what I got. Uh, for starters, I got this little piece of constitutional silver and there you go. But I only purchased this with the change that I had left over after I purchased this. Take a look. My first ever silver bar. I've never owned a silver bar before until today. I saw this and I could not pass it up. Uh, five ounces and I'll tell you what it feels pretty good in the hand here uh, it's got some weight to it and uh, they say uh, the five ounces are uh, like the new the new 10 ounces uh, and I am happy to own this uh, vintage silver so hey thanks again once again for watching I always appreciate you and uh, hope to see you in the next one and I'll leave you with my motto May your premiums be low and your stacks be high. Toot.